Well, a little bit, getting a little bit late going with this uh, geocache giveaway. Ah, does that bridge look familiar? Yeah, I was going to do an under the bridge edition and be lazy about it, but I'm going to run a little bit here. I haven't picked out a particular spot, but uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be right back and uh, I'll give you the location information. Uh, be sure to like, uh, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be alerted for more of these. Uh, I pretty much do them every week. Sometimes I do a couple of weeks, so I might I might do one tomorrow. I've definitely got enough gear for it. Uh, it's just that, you know, real life sometimes gets in the way of uh, playing video games. But, but hey, what can you do, right? Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and um, leave a comment down below, especially if you found it. And if you did find it, take a screenshot of it and either put the screenshot in your profile and send me a link to it. Or uh, you can send me an email, and you can find my email address in my About section on uh, on YouTube. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. This might be a good spot. Something very recognizable in the game. I mean, there's only so many of these. And just as a hint, I am over by the East Coast. You, a lot of you guys, if you watch my videos, you're going to recognize that area as one of my favorite areas to go and get uh, plastic explosives. So, uh, I am what? What am I, north of there? Yeah, because I'm terrible with directions. What do we got? Yeah, basically exactly north of there. And, um, yeah, all right. Now, let's see. Yeah, yeah. There's a good spot around here. First off, hey, let's see if there's like a garden hoe in here. So maybe you won't even have to bring a farming hoe. Oh, no luck this time, guys. Looks like you're going to have to bring a shovel or a farming hoe. You're going to need a compass, uh, unless you know the map really well. I mean, I did pretty much give it away there. Uh, what town is that, anyways? I always forget the names. I I don't pay that. Uh, Novo Dotromusk or Novo. Novo Mitrovsk. So we are north of Novo Mitrovsk. Uh, well, kind of. Eh, yeah, it's north of it. But uh, yeah, you got, you're going to have to find the big radio tower. Uh and I will give you exact GPS coordinates, so you can just uh, pop that onto your map, draw a line to it if you know how. Just, just a, just a good way, a good way of doing things in the game to navigate around. So, uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's get you orientated. All right. So, off the edge of that building right there. Yeah, look at this. In between these two little trees here, looks like a good spot. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay. So, here's what we got for you people today. Once again, we're doing an M4A1. Uh, it's in uh, well here. Let's uh, let, let's uh, let's let's handhold some of this stuff to show it to you. Uh, it's got the it's got the big A cog scope on it. I'm not a fan of it, but it is a good scope. Uh, we got the handguard and the buttstock. Buttstock's pristine. Handguard's worn, and we got a worn suppressor on there. A 60 round magazine in it. You're gonna get another 60 round magazine plus another 20. Of clean ammo, non-tracer. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, uh, yes, uh, my favorite little thing. So if you guys want to trap somebody and poison them to death and make them suffer, <laughs> there you go. And we got a remote detonator for it. And you can see the rest of it right there. We have a tactile, uh, tac tactic, tactile, tactile, <laughs> tactical helmet uh, with night vision goggles and a barely used, barely used battery. Plus, we got an extra battery for it right there. So, all that could be yours if you find this geocache. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's drop her on the ground, see if we can bury her right here. Sometimes it uh, won't let us, but let's, uh, let's try and snug up to this tree a little bit. There we go. I swear, one of these days I'm probably going to get shot when I'm doing this, but whatever. Wow, that really lightened me up. I do not like running around with less than half of my stamina. Uh, I just like to be able to hop fences if I need to. I want to be able to at least hop one fence at a time. Uh, anyways, yeah, there you go. Ooh, I could have thrown down that witch's hood for you too. But uh, by the way, the witch's hood is great. It does not get wet and is the best insulation. Um, yeah, so hey, let's, uh, let's have a look. See here, where exactly are we? There you go. All right, so... Hey, be sure, I know I mention this all the time, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that bell icon, You're, you'll get alerted for these, and you'll get alerted for some of my other videos, especially if you like DayZ content. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out in the channel, helps my channel grow, and it encourages me to do this more often. Uh, 
Okay, so there's the coordinates. Let's uh, shut that off. Put it away. Put it put it away. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, what? Oh yeah, last week we did West Coast. This week we are East Coast. And oh, where's my piece of paper? Yeah, we are on uh, NY four nine zero three. So. Good luck to you. Uh, be sure to uh, be sure if you find it, take a screenshot. Um, think about actually making it so that uh, people who give me screenshots and help uh, and prove that they've solved this uh, this geocache, uh, th they may get rewards in the future. I haven't quite figured it out yet how I'm going to do it, but maybe uh, maybe I'll start a Discord and certain people will get early alerts by like twenty minutes or something like that. To get to the uh, to get to the geocaches, and maybe I'll just start giving items directly away to people. I'm I'm unsure, but either way, um, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I've given you guys all you need to know. I gotta go on for just a little bit because I want people watching my videos the whole way through. I don't want to make it super easy for you to just skip through the video and figure out exactly where I said that I'm gonna hide this thing and what the what the location and server is. So. I tend to extend my videos out just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to talk about the s vol for a sec here. Now, this is my favorite assault rifle. Uh, a lot of people do not like it. Um, I like I like it. I only shoot uh, armor-piercing rounds through it. Now, the best spot to go and find armor-piercing rounds, unfortunately, clean, pristine, boxed ammo that I found is Tizzy. You got to go up to Tizzy, and you, when I go up to Tizzy and I'm, I'm searching for ammo, I take a gun with me that ammo is plentiful for like an AK or something like that and I will use the AK silenced to basically I just basically go in and kill all the zombies get them out of the way search the tents uh, search all the areas up in tizzy and most of the times I'll run out of there with at least three to four boxes of armor piercing ammo now mind you I'm doing this on low to medium pop servers your mileage may vary so uh, I believe the s vol is the best uh, assault rifle just because it's maintenance, man. Uh, when you uh, when you have like the M4A1, sure, it's a great gun. But when if you want to shoot silence, eh, it starts to become a pain in the butt because the silencer goes uh, becomes damaged, the gun itself becomes damaged, the magazine becomes damaged. As with the S vol, it's all wrapped into one minus the magazine. So when it goes damaged, when I hit repair, it repairs the gun, silencer and all, because the silencer is integral. So that's why I like this gun, and I like the uh, I like the little uh, Mark II as well, just for that reason. That and it's a very quiet gun. You can basically shoot it right beside a zombie, and shoot another zombie in the head, and they won't even notice. So it's great that way. It only sucks when you miss because then as soon as you miss, the bullet hitting wherever triggers the zombies to start freaking out. If it hits the side of a building or a tree or even the ground, they start freaking out and running around to see what that was. So you got to be pretty accurate with your shots. I don't usually have that big of a deal with accuracy. I, I tend to take my time on things. But hey, anyways, I think I've babbled on for long enough. Anyways, guys, good luck on this one. And uh, be sure to take that screenshot. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. We're going to be doing more of these. Thanks for watching.